Another worship leader who has had a profound impact on me as a worship leader is Paul Balash. While Bob Coughlin's impact was largely theological and philosophical, and Keith Getty's impact was inspirational, Paul Balash's impact on me was highly practical. He put out a DVD series years ago called Lead Worship, and watching through that DVD series, which is still on my bookshelf and still amazingly helpful thinking through things like planning what songs to sing and range of songs and how to play in a congregational settings. I used to lend out his DVD on acoustic guitar to young players because it was so incredibly helpful. The only reason I don't anymore is because somewhere along the line it didn't get returned. Side note, if you were the one who last borrowed the green acoustic guitar DVD from me, I want it back. Anyway, Paul Blosh's way of playing in the key of E on guitar changed the key of E from a key to be avoided to a key to be sought out. His way of playing in the key of G is still how I play in the key of G. I probably learned as much as anything playing acoustic guitar from that DVD as I did from anywhere. And this was after I moved to Kansas for this job. I'd encourage you to search on YouTube for Paul Balash acoustic guitar. A lot of the parts of that DVD can be found in there. In particular, you have to check out the open chord concept. But this song from Ephesians 1, 18 through 21, came from a devotional practice of Balash's, saying of the song that the essence of the song is our petition, asking God to open the heart, eyes of our hearts. I began to realize that it's not more teaching we need, but a revelation of God and a crying out to him, saying, God, open the eyes of my heart. Reveal to me how I might taste and see who you really are, so that I might be changed from the inside out. Help me to have a response of gratitude and admiration and a sense of awe and worship toward Jesus. So as we sing, consider Ephesians 1, 15 through 19, which says, this is why, since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I never stop giving thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, would give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what is the wealth of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the mighty working of his strength?